U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will be touching down in Ottawa tomorrow morning for talks with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Foreign Affairs Minister Christian Freeland. Details of the visit released by Freeland's office say there will be discussions on Canada-U.S. cooperation on bilateral, regional and global issues. Building on Trudeau's visit in June to the White House, where the PM and Donald Trump talked about relations with China and the ratification of the new NAFTA. More specifics coming from the U.S. State Department on Pompeo's visit, explaining meetings will focus on returning democracy to Venezuela and will identify opportunities to advance our shared goals, including the release of two Canadian citizens arbitrarily detained by China. The two Canadians have been held by Beijing since December. Their detention believed to be in retaliation to the arrest of Chinese telecoms giant Huawei CFO Meng Wanzhou in Vancouver at the request of the U.S. Her arrest deeply angering China. On Friday, the detained Canadians were part of discussions in a phone call between Trudeau and Trump. Canada has repeatedly called for the immediate release of Michael Spavor and Michael Kovrig. Pompeo's visit to Canada comes ahead of the G7 summit, kicking off this weekend in France. Trudeau will be among the world leaders taking part. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will be making his debut on the global stage there, with just over two months to go before the Brexit deadline. He's set to meet with the U.S. president as Donald Trump once again calls for Russia to be allowed to return to the G7. I think it's much more appropriate to have Russia in. It should be the G8 because a lot of the things we talk about have to do with Russia. So I could certainly see it being the G8 again. And if somebody would make that motion, I would certainly be disposed to think about it very favorably. Now, Russia was pushed out of the G8 about five years ago for its annexation of Crimea from Ukraine. A lot of reaction coming in on this one, including from host country France, which says it wants to see some progress on the crisis in Ukraine before considering bringing Russia back on board.